And Lumina CEO Francis D'Souza has officially stepped down. That follows pressure from Carl Icahn to remove himself from the position after D'Souza's push to acquire healthcare company Grail was shut down by regulators. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani, Kemlani joins us now with the details. Anj, even though there's been this pressure, this was still unexpected news, especially since it follows after earnings. That's right. Not only earnings, but also from the win that uh, Francis basically faced, not losing in that proxy battle back in May, which ousted the board chair, John Thompson, at the time. So what we saw then was shareholders voting for one of ICON's three nominees for the board and uh, CEO Francis is surviving that, but now stepping down as uh, Carl Icahn continues to put pressure on the company to divest the Grail assets. So what happened with Grail? Just a recap on that. The company had first divested that, uh, or rather spun it out back in 2016 for about $2 billion. The company then looked at reacquiring it, announcing that in 2021 for $8 billion. Regulatory decisions had not yet been complete by the time Illumina wrapped the deals. Both in the U.S. and the EU, they faced blocks, concerns about uh, market competition being the major point there. And it's really costing Illumina a lot of money, about $800 million a year just to hang on to it, according to reports. So that's sort of where the concern comes in and where you've seen the pressure mounting from Carl Icahn. So this essentially ends that proxy battle um, and the pressure there, but they still face the decision of divesting Grail moving forward. Anjali, we're also watching another story in the healthcare space, uh, Novartis. They've agreed to acquire Chinook in a $3.5 billion deal here. What can you tell us about that? That's right. So Chinook is a uh, kidney disease company. They have two treatments that they've got in the pipeline clinical stage. This is really a good target for a company like Novartis. We know a lot of these large pharma companies are looking for uh, the rare space as uh, you know pressure mounts on them from things like the Medicare drug pricing negotiations. They've been looking at areas where they can really ramp up uh, you know disease stages and assets that won't necessarily be targets of those negotiations. We know Novartis uh, earlier this year announced that it was going to cut back on its pipeline, as, and that included on the cancer side. So this definitely builds up and bolsters its pipeline a little bit, and it'll be interesting to see what other moves it makes to make up for the cuts it announced earlier this year. Anjali, thanks so much for tracking these stories for us, helping us break down the latest and greatest here in the healthcare landscape. Appreciate it.